So me and my brother are going up to what we call Elk Valley here in North Central PA, where he wants to get the shot he's been trying to get basically his whole life. But I think this is a good time to tell you that it's better to have a plan going into a shoot rather than just getting there and not knowing what you're gonna do sometimes, but I'll explain. It's been a plan of mine for a long time to come up here, take the scenic elk drive in the Pennsylvania wilds, and photograph elk. I did it a few years ago. I had some, some good images that came from that. So I've been planning this shoot now for about two months, but ultimately the goal today is to get a photograph of an elk crossing some kind of stream and some kind of body of water. Might be a little difficult, it hasn't rained too much here in the PA wilds uh, this summer. So everything's going to be a little bit low, but it'll also make it a little bit more accessible. driving to a place and sometimes the best images that you're going to capture are the ones that you weren't planning for so yeah I've got plans for an elk going across the water and all this other stuff in my head but ultimately it's the unexpected that might give you the best memory and the best image See if he moves, so we're not in his line of sight. You mean to go? He's he's looking at right at us. You mean to move? Right. We just can't seem threatening. We just stopped to eat some lunch. Going back out in the afternoon. Take two, hopefully we see a couple more elk. And uh, snap some more cool photos. We're gonna spend the afternoon and early evening down by the river. We gotta get that shot. That's what we're going for. We're going for the elk, the bull, in the water.
Yeah, there's something over there, that's for sure. So it took all day. It was probably 12 hours ago when I told you that I wanted this shot right here. And here we are, we've got very, very little light left. We've got some cloud cover, but we got it. That's the number one reason why you have to have that shot planned out in your head before you go. You have to have a vision of what you want to create. And if you don't have a vision in your head, you're never going to create the image.